All right, well, this is at the request of my 750 class, and although it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever to do, I promised them I would do it. We have about seven pounds of pelleted dry ice, and up until now, about five quarts of recently boiling water. Let's see what happens when we dump them both together. Oh. Well, we had an initial explosion that actually reached the ceiling. Don't try this at home, by the way, under any circumstance. It's very easy to die from an experiment like this. I have certain safety protocols in place. Obviously, the CO2 is displacing the oxygen. Still at a very high rapid rate on the counter. Probably looks like smoke is coming out of the bottom of my door. <laughs> well, some of the dry ice even came out and fell on the floor. CO2 still sublimating. Two minutes into it, I'm gonna blow on it. I'm going to turn some hot water on it too, why not? Get that supplementing, supplementation up even higher. Again, don't try this at home. The CO2 is displacing all the oxygen around it. One little mistake, you pass out and die. one of these cans of uh, compressed air here. Let's just uh, see what happens. In over three minutes, still have a massive amount of uh, CO2, dry ice, turning into gas. As you know, dry ice does not turn into liquid. It goes directly from solid to gas. The process we call sublimation. It's actually quite incredible. Now, here's what would be interesting. Let's try to put the lid back on the pot. It could cause a little minor explosion, actually, so I'm going to back up. I bet you there's at least one or two of you wishing it did. Again, this is for my PAD 750 information security test class. We did some experiments today that required some dry ice and they wanted to see what happens if I tried to melt all, well, supplement all seven pounds at once. And here's your answer. A massive displacement of oxygen. 
I can stick my hand in this. The actual gas itself is cool. Let me turn the water off for a second. Actually, the boiling water that was once boiling is now ice cold. Matter of fact, I can tell you I've got a thermometer here. The water that was boiling only five minutes ago is now 82 degrees. As I mentioned to my class, it's critical that none of the dry ice makes its way into the piping system because it could explode the pipes. Looks like after about six minutes, it's starting to calm down. And I've caused an absolute mess in my kitchen. Well, folks, that's just about all you get. Adam Watt, John Jay College, with a highly irresponsible experiment. My 750 class. Don't try this at home. This is what happens when you dump seven pounds of dry ice into five quarts of boiling water. Hope you have a good evening.